Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a really long time since I posted a video, so I thought I'll come back with something interesting. Um, so I'm here in Uganda with my friend Linda. Hi. <laughs> We're touring around, and it's been just an amazing trip so far, and I'm looking forward to what we have ahead. Um, I've been trying to film, but it's, it's kind of difficult. Um, but I also took pictures, so I'll leave um, a slideshow as well, um, so you can see a bit more of my trip. Um, one of the most amazing ways to see a country is with a local, someone who's from there who can show you around and just really um, give you like a non-tourist view of um, its history and culture. So I'm really enjoying myself and I hope you like this video. Um, thank you for watching um, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. After having a great night out in Entebbe, I'm now on my way to Kampala, Uganda's capital city. Uh, this road is the road that connects the two cities and it can get quite busy so if you're ever visiting, please take care in crossing or driving on it. Um, I'm headed to the Kasubi tombs which houses the tombs of four Buganda kings. This um, site is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, so it was a great privilege to visit it. Um, the entrance to this site is very low, whereas everyone who enters has to bow, and any ladies entering has to wear skirts. Once you enter as a woman, you are considered a queen, and these are the houses that house the queens of um, the king. They represent the queens of the Buganda king. Okay, and here is the main house, house where they are buried. Um, it caught fire in 2010. Now here I am at the Makerere University, which is um, East Africa's oldest and a very well esteemed university. And it's been established since 1922. I am here wearing the Bufumbira tribe's traditional wear for a christening. Okay, so now we are off on this road trip towards the west. We are headed to Fort Portal. Um, if you're not familiar with Uganda, Uganda is a landlocked country in Africa and it borders five countries, which is Southern Sudan, Democratic Republic of Congo, Rwanda, Tanzania, and Kenya. Uganda is considered the pearl of Africa. It is a truly beautiful country and it has beautiful um okay so we are resources. continuing our road trip and we just bought some uh, street food and it's gonja plantains sure then it's gonna show you like grilled plantains yummy and we also got a delicacy in uganda and it's seasoned for it <laughs> it's a grasshopper so we're gonna try it then let's see go open it <laughs> So Doug, everyone's gonna know your business. Hmm? So be careful what you say. <laughs> He's not even listening. Just All right. Put some right here. So show you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Close Oops. Up. Let's Close see up. if it will focus. There we go. No. I'll, sh I'll bring it up closer for you guys. No, I'll just hold one. Mm -hmm. right, are you going to hold one too? So the, the mm -hmm. wings are gone and everything. I don't know if it's going to focus. There. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try it. Wait, I still have my rubber band. <laughs> I'll try it in a minute. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. They're good actually. They taste like shrimp. Mm. It has onions and it's um, seasoned. 
and it tastes like shrimp. So yeah, let's go try the um, ganja next. Ganja, ganja, ganja. Ganja. G O G O ganja. So let's see. I'm not supposed to be eating with my elastics in, but I am. So ready? They're sweet. Nice. Alright guys, we're gonna continue our road trip. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So here we are in Fort Portal. This is the center of town. Um, I just want to share with you some of the foods that I had there. This is like a common breakfast. It has some chapati, which is like a flatbread. Um, and I have some uh, millet and some mushed ganja and it's it's called matoke and we have some posho which is maize or corn with a beef stew and the greens are similar to like kalalu and here is a fish in a peanut sauce um, the food so is I'm very hearty and, Island and healthy. Beach Cafe, um, right on Lake Victoria, just right there. Um, and I'm having the tilapia. It's massive, and um, Lake Victoria is actually one of the few places, if not, is it the only place? It's the only place, okay. So Lake Victoria is the only place that has tilapia naturally. Now, a lot of tilapia most people eat is um, farm raised, but it these are naturally in the lake, so um, this is the stuff right here. I'm enjoying it. I'm about to dig in. I've had them before, but I love it. I always get it when I come here. Um, so, yeah, let me just show you the lake. It's raining on the lake. Yep. Beautiful. Yes, the equator does pass right through Uganda, so another reason for its beautiful weather and its amazing um, agriculture. Um, we're on our way to Queen Elizabeth National Park, and here you can see the tea farms behind me. They're really beautiful, and it was just a pleasure driving by them. Here are some cows that are native to Uganda, and they are cows, not bulls. And these birds, they're just massive, man. So here we are in Queen Elizabeth National Park and um, we actually, I didn't catch it on camera, but we got attacked by um, sese flies, which are really vicious and they just come after you. Like they're worse than mosquitoes and um, the risk is they can give you um, sleeping sickness, but we managed to get them out of the car before um, any of us got hurt. And that's the lioness going away. That man is there. Eh? Even the other one he was saying is that because he was telling me that we shall not see it. But they could be moving, going, let's see. Going inside. Yeah, for it is going away. Yeah, there we go. Hello there. Mm. That's a baby boy. <laughs> you gotta watch out for the movie. Okay. Right, yeah. Oh my gosh, the family is here. And we're surrounded by its family. Oh my gosh. You got it? Yeah, got it. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm gonna like, keep going because the, the mother's probably gonna kill us. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> oh, my it's gosh. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Aren't you guys afraid of. Oh, they're not like. Oh, you know, wow, it can push you. I've forgotten how big this animal is. They are massive. I'm gonna put this on YouTube and put my sketchy book. So now we're leaving Queen Elizabeth National Park and um, it was just an amazing experience and 
I was afraid for a reason because we did find the mother of the elephants and she was not happy. But anyway, now we're headed towards Jinja. Um, we're gonna see the Nile and um, I'm so excited to see the Nile. This is one fact that I had no idea about. So Gandhi's ashes was actually um, placed, it immersed in the Nile River um, in 1948. I was wondering what was the statue doing here, but yeah, this is a fun historical fact to learn and look. Okay guys, so this is the last leg of my trip. Um, we are here in Jinja at the source of the Nile. This is where the exact point where the Nile River um, begins and it stretches all the way north to the Mediterranean Sea. It takes 90 days for the water to get from here to the Mediterranean Sea and the, but just behind me is actually Lake Victoria. So, so far we've been to Entebbe, Kampala, Fort Porto and Queen Elizabeth National um, Park. So um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, see you next time. Bye. something oh, <laughs> we're just taking the boat ride back to the back to land i guess <laughs> there's some huge lizards on this little island it looks like komodo dragons massive so we just hope we don't uh, pick that land <laughs> and that's it so bye to the stores oh i have one more thing to say um so I've been learning about the Nile since I was very little um, in like social studies and stuff. So it's a great experience to actually come here and see where it begins and actually be on the Nile River. So yeah, it's an amazing, amazing trip.